Hi, I'm Lenny McAllister, and this is McAllister Saturday Remix, found exclusively at Politic 365. There is a lot of buzz and a lot of criticism flying around the great comb-over adventure otherwise known as the Newsmax Ion Television 2012 presidential debate coming up in two weeks. The criticism is not that it's going to be on Ion Television, especially since I like some of the witty programming that they air. And it's not anything against Newsmax, let's be real. If CNBC can allow Maria Bartiromo and others to get ripped and embarrassed at their own debate, who am I to stop others from having a debate and risking the same? The critique boils down to the choice to moderate the debate, Donald Trump, a choice that has led to only two candidates agreeing to appear at this point. The good news for the debate organizers? Both candidates have great congressional experience to lend on the debate stage. The bad news? Only one of them is polling consistently over 3%. This apparent failure to tantalate candidates, and perhaps viewers, to this late December showdown begs the question, is this debate simply nothing more than a televised chance to bow down and kiss the ring of the Donald? The better question to ask is this, is it merely about kissing the ring or feeding the beast? What beast? Come on, you know, the beast of American pop politics at its very best. Where else but in America can a candidate make the voting public forget about questions of infidelity and a whitewater investment scandal by playing the saxophone on a late night talk show? Or where presidents can fly onto aircraft carriers with homecoming banners displayed in full view just in case you forgot why he was there? Or where a young 40-something can beat candidates that had 30 years plus experience in the Senate, a commendable war record, and a first ladyship to their credit? Admit it, you like the American Idol style of politics going down in the USA today, with all of its yes we can bumper stickers and memorabilia, along with the colonial costumes coming out of your grandparents' closets. You just don't like the results of what this style of campaigning yields for America. And that is something we should all be careful of, bowing down to style points and not to substance. This is something that the Republican Party must be particularly aware of as we approach the voting stage of this primary process. It's been very easy to ride the wave of polling data and debate gaps to the feel-good places party hopefuls and aspiring candidates strive for. However, if Republicans, and even the Obamacans, get caught up in bowing down to kiss a ring, focusing on the feel-good and not on the make sense, or staying loyal to a campaign record and not a legislative record, well, we may be a factor in getting a person elected in 2012, but we still may not get the X factor we need to getting the nation permanently back on the right track. I'm Lenny McAllister. Check out my latest article on Politics 365 this weekend and tune into CNN Saturday morning every weekend with me, host TJ Holmes, and fellow pundit Maria Cardona at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 9.30 Central. Also catch me this weekend on CNN Newsroom with Don Lemon at 6.15 p.m. Eastern, 5.15 Central. This is McAllister's Saturday Remix, found exclusively at Politic365.com.